Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Super Mutant Muckle Lover, in which, as you can see, we're already at war with the Marlick tribes. They've lost 580, we've lost about 68, and let's take a good little look at their manpower and... Well, there's their stockpile already. Not bad for them. Not great. Division-wise, they have a lot of infantry, but they have a little bit of manpower, too. So, <clears throat> we're going to jump straight into this. Uh, I've already done the Apostle Annihilation just because there's no description, doesn't mean anything. I asked you guys yesterday, though, whether we should be making slaves of the unworthy, or should we doing, be doing super mutant labor? Now, there's support for both sides, but there's just a little bit more support for making slaves of the unworthy. However, someone did put it as a good rebuttal for, you know, a good idea that we did go with Betty, and she's smart, and she would know that the humans might try something if we made them slaves, which is a good reason to go super mutant labor. But since you guys recommended it, and there's a, a small but small to moderate amount of support for this one, we're going to go with making slaves of the unworthy. There are few within our lands who are truly worthy of the gift of mutation. Instead, we shall keep them as slaves for labor, and in case of those too weak for labor, cattle upon which to feast. Hmm. Yum, 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 yum. Very good, and as you can see, I've already actually started attacking here. Uh, of course, the goal is to encircle, so... And there was another comment saying that we should be careful with our behemoths. They're like power armor. we got to be careful with them. Uh, their stats are okay, especially when attacking. They can be really, really good. And they're actually winning with this. Wow. Um, but their defense is okay. It's 50 compared to a normal super mutant whose defense is around almost 100. So they have their uses. We just have to be careful how we use these guys. Uh, I don't want you to even... Oh, I really want them to go in. But don't go in yet. We can, like, let them come back. We can beat them up again. And have everyone else try to attack. That'd be pretty good. <clears throat> also, there was another comment saying that why do we always see a certain somebody on screen whenever an event pops up leading a certain type of speech? That is because uh, the colored events button or colored events mod that I'm using uh, does that. Which I honestly should probably get rid of when I play Old World Blues. Because I haven't seen Old World Blues events in a long time. I always forget about that, but I always like colored events. So, my apologies about that. I'll try to remember to take that off whenever I go back and do some Old World Blues, or maybe even other campaigns. Preparing for the Warren, or preparing the Warren, that's not bad. Develop the Slave Mines. Oh, uh, we're, what are we missing? Water. Forcing them to dig? I like stability, but we can wait on that maybe, just because I might want to do or get some more weekly stability first, and then force them to dig, because you can only get up to 80% for stability when you use your decisions, so... And you don't have ever again, so let's go prepare the war. If the war is to expand and to thrive, it must become more than it already is. Weapons, trade, and a thousand other things must come to the city before it can truly be considered to be glorious. And great. They've lost a thousand. We've lost 88. Together, super mutant and behemoths are strong. Oh yeah, these guys on attack. Of course, that was a militia division. What do you expect? And I've also gone ahead and got Kyle Mad Bomber, just because out of everyone else here, so he's built tough. I like I like people built tough. I chose this one because that's someone I would normally never choose. Retention's okay. Cap, that's all right. That's only 5% too. Factory repair speed, 10%. I never choose stuff like that, so that's why I chose him. I usually probably like to choose things like Melkor the Dwarf, so I'm like, eh, maybe not. I don't want to lose stability. Resource efficiency gain is good. But let's grab some more resource efficiency gain. 10% instead of 15. Get some more output. I think that's pretty... Uh, I don't want to replace you, but I think that's pretty worth it, so. Oh, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Also, I chose Betty here just because it just makes sense. We have Betty le helping lead the first, so. Betty is brains and brawn. She got more research speed, planning speed, and max planning. Love it. And we're in. Uh, the behemoths are doing okay on defense. Oh, I should probably keep an eye on this. Yeah, that's a lot of guys that they're getting attacked by. No, you are not moving. No, 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 no. Good, jolly good. They don't like it when you start busting through them, so. Then again, I don't like people busting into my lands. It's, it's just a normal thing, that's all. Come on, destroy those two divisions. They're not that super strong, but that's alright. And good job. Glorious. More divisions. Shall we? Yes, please. And uh, I did hire some people. We have Pump the Cowboy, Travis the Scavenger, and Frank Bulletproof. I hope he really is Betty Proof. Oh, Betty, why did you get injured? Or wounded? Uh. Alright, let's grab some more resource efficiency gain, probably. Seed selection would be nice, but resource efficiency gain seems like they're probably the right idea for now. Decode signals, not bad. Let's go ahead and grab some vacuum tubes. 
Our attack is primitive. We need better attack. We are really running out of... Oh. If that's the case, I'm going to go force both of you guys right here so we can cut off... Maybe someone here? Maybe? We'll see what happens. Oh! There we go. Get both divisions there. They might... Oh, actually... I'm going to send you that, that way. It's just because these, we're going to circle three divisions there then. And that will help move you up. So that's actually not a bad thing to do. Come on, move, move, move. Battle for Hoover Dam. Preparing the Warren. The Oregon Line. Uh, to improve our slave trade for each level of infrastructure in our own states in Oregon. Ongoing gathers. Oh, get more water. Uh, Nikin Immigration. Every own core state. Oh, we don't own anything yet. So let's grab this one then. Developing the slave mines. There is water, metal, and ample supply around the war, and if one is willing to dig for it. Or one should say, fearful enough of the fate of those who prove to be unwilling to dig for it. They say there's water and metal, but all we get is scrap metal. This must be a special place. Hmm. They're probably going to get their first um, attack. And I'll stop you from attacking once we get there. Oops, never mind. That was a little too early. Do it again. Keep going. Ah, they caught on. They caught on. Those dastardly dudes. We're still winning here, too. Holy cow. I just want to circle three guys. That's all I want. I could force the attack. How many behemoths do we have in spare? Not none. Okay, we have none in spare. You guys are still winning regardless. Old world holds. Great. Go right on in. And you guys hold right there, and you hold as well. Heck, who cares? Go in there. Three more divisions. Go baba. Developing the slave mines? I love it. Housing slaves and mutants? Now, my me. The majority of our slaves live in small, uncomfortable tents. Those who have earned the right, they may build their homes out of those resources that remain after constructing abodes for the super mutants. I love it. Yeah, get them back over there. So really it's one, two, three, four, five, which is not very good. Oh, and they're still attacking. Eh, that's not great. All right, we got to short the line a little bit more. All right, at this point, some of these guys are looking really weak on the line. I'm going to force them all to attack. Because they've been dragging soldiers away from here, over here. Which will be good. Hopefully they don't have that much manpower. They're getting more resistance, which is nice. Save a little bit. It's going to be a little costly, but I think it, it, it'll be worth it in the end. Punch through, punch through. Nice. Disappointing, though. A little disappointing. Forcing them to dig. We'll get there eventually. Uh, pinnacle Point? Why not? Uh, the Pinnacle Point uh, Library houses vast majorities of information that we can use to further ourselves. Few of our people can read, but those that can can bring forth knowledge long forgotten. Alright, so you guys aren't doing super great, so you're going to kind of stop. You all definitely ain't doing great, so you're going to stop. You? I had high hopes for you, but nope. And y'all, you two stop. And you help support the attack right there. Oh, and they attack us again? Oh, good. Uh, help these guys right here. If we can circle at least one more Marlurk division, that'd be pretty good. And go, you guys stop. There you go. Good. Kill them. Alright, not bad. Not bad. Um, are you guys winning here? There you go. Yeah, go do that. There you go. Nice. Let those guys move in. They're still attacking us. We're attacking them. We can actually break over the, the river. That'd be kind of nice. We lost about 300. They've lost about 3,000. Not bad. Oh, you guys need orders. Ah, oh, Bear Strong back. I did make sure he was inspirational as well. Uh, sure. Local leader is not bad. And after this, though, you guys gotta go right here. Because this is just a distraction. Oh, what? What? Did they seriously change a non-aggression pact? That's not good. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Now, we should know if they declare war on us, but... One can never be too sure. Yeah, we can't do this, so we might as well do a slaving dude, so... Might as well become a slaver. I guess that we have to. Alright, we gotta finish this war up quickly, then. Alright, not bad. I want both of you to go here, but really, the only one goes that way. Good, force the attack. Kill them off as fast as you can. I don't trust anybody here now. Oh, what are you guys doing? Oh, no, no, you guys stop attacking. Yeah, you guys. 
Go and stop that. Uh, you guys stop that. Okay, at first I thought the Bone Dancers declared war on us and I was getting a little worried. So, yeah. Help them out. Help those folks out. Good. Force the attack. Force them to die. We definitely need more Super Mutants, Behemoths, but that's alright. Crowd Control Gear could be pretty useful later on. Betty's findings. Betty's become enamored with the words of the past held within it, this library. She has personally asked the first if he can keep searching for more of these places in the future, believing that it may bring about a new age of power and knowledge for the super mutants. Stop to search a whole one more research slot as the super mutant tribe. Oh my goodness. Absolutely. Bring on this knowledge. Come on. You guys can break these filth. We need slaves. Actually, this doesn't make any sense that we don't have slaves here, does it? Um, wait, what's this? Demand for our rifle. Oh, uh, no. Well, we'll do that after the war. I don't want that to screw anything up we're doing right now, so. Let's see. I want to do two at a time, so let's do that. Yeah. Oh, we have no focus. Oh, I should probably do that. Uh, rebel. Willie, we're building Willie Met Fortress. The Rib Breakers operated out of a series of massive pre-war buildings, which, which they only referred to as Willie Met. We destroyed much of this fortress in the, our fighting, but we shall rebuild it. Larger and greater than it ever was under their rule. It will be a symbol of our dominance in the area. Good. Alrighty-tighty, let's get these guys on the line. And probably try to make it another encirclement. Not bad. All right. So I'm gonna try to bust through here. Probably a bad idea. Oh, no, no, hold, hold! Don't get too excited now. Don't jump at that bit. We're gonna go to Culp Creek, or Culp Creek, as some might say. Look, pacification. Oh, we're starting to really chunk away at that there resistance. You can create a lake. Look at that, seven point zero. I really love that the La Resistance DLC made it so that. You can have, I wouldn't say artificial divisions, but they're sort of artificial, and you can start, slowly see portions of divisions being needed go down and down and down. I love that. Well, I shouldn't say I love it. Earlier when the thing came out, it ruined one of my, my very first Bone Dancer campaign, which made me sad. But uh, I was doing really well with that, but whatever. From the Ruins. Oh, the first is a cult of personality. Oh, that gives us stability. I'm, I want to wait for that, maybe. No, I don't. I don't care. Dismantling their constructs and buildings can give us insights into what they have done to survive in these inhospitable conditions. Better yet, we shall drag them from the ruins, those who fled, those who hid, those unworthy of transformation. We shall make them work for us. They shall tend to our lands, construct our buildings, and toil in our mines. Now, which type of mines? Like physical mines or like our mental mines? Oh, actually, why would I go down this way? I know, I, I'm pretty sure someone commented the last time I did this. I should go tribal because we can't get up to here, right? Yeah, we can't go up there, so... My bad! I'm going back this way. That's fine, we have four research slots. We're actually sort of normal now. Alright, so we go... Do we go big? Big? Or do we go small? We're going to go big. And by big, I mean not attacking this tile. We're going to attack this one instead. Alright, big boys. A bear strong back. You're going to be learning a lot. You won. Wow. Ah, uh, another. There is another. Oh, let's go and do this too. Alrighty, tidy. Let's see. Prioritize living standard. Don't mind if we do. Less research speed. That's okay with me because we got full research slots. These guys will hopefully will be stopping out soon. And let's go ahead and teach them a particular lesson. Cult Creek going to die, die, die. Gear is conviction. Good luck with that, Presidente. Alrighty. There you go. Having these guys defend is not a great idea, but with all these guys flustered with defense. After this, we should be able to do a pretty much a general attack, hopefully, and get rid of them folks down there. Uh, you guys might want to help out here, too. Yeah, you can't leave yet, son. Let them attack the lines. They're weak. Not us, them. And what else? Oh, good. Ah, four divisions. Even the special forces have been trapped by us. I love it. Uh, where is it? Oh, you guys have nothing else to do? Aw, oh, yeah. I don't want to get rid of you. So we won't. We're going to do this. Oh, yeah, they're looking very weak now. I love it. Uh, they could use some help here. Is anyone going in there now? Okay. Okay. 
Alright then. Let's make sure you got that. Uh, hold on for now. We've lost quite a few guys so far. Eventually we will be able to core this land too, but... Dedicated equipment is pretty good. Resource extraction? Why not? 78% stability? 3, 2, I don't want to wait any longer. All together now. And you're gonna win no matter what. Beat these stupid humans up. We need slaves. And I will... Uh, well, uh, what? Why? Why? Why is it like this? The bombs ended in the air of Lincoln, but we will resurrect his voice. We will restore the greatness of his vision where all men are created equal and all men can live free. But what if we don't believe in that? Well, time for war horns in the east. Of all the northern tribes, there are none greater than the Bone Dancers, who stand atop the masses of unworthy. They are the only worthy foe we can find in these lands, and a little battle with them shall be our savior. Or, to be savored. To the south lies the last of the hidden tribes, the long reclusive animus of the swamp. Like all others, they must be... I was going to say drained, but defeated. Oh, we're going to drain them. We're going to drain and suck on their bodies, which sounds very weird to say. Um, if you guys would like instead do that, that'd be probably better. Heck, you could just go to Crowlands and probably kill them all off. But getting some more XP early on for generals is not a bad idea either. No, you gotta help them out. Help them out. Help them out. Can they... We should... Can we get some piercing, actually? Huh. Nice. Crowlands will be ours. We've lost... 500 versus 6200 humans. Not bad. Not battery knows if I do say so myself. But that's a good amount of money. Uh, I could, we could do that. That's not a bad idea to do. You know what? Let's do that. I don't. I don't want to deal with resistance too much. There we go. So anything that helps us get more, or first of all, more compliance is always good. Less resistance, always good. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. I hope we get free cores on them, but we'll see what happens. Flexible designs. Not bad. I don't trust you guys because you decided mm, you want no more aggression pact. Alright then. You call for it, son. Why did my voice go like that? Oh, the Crimson Acolytes. The lessons of the Cathedral. So they went down the left side here, huh? Preservation through pain. The whole of -f 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 flame. Old Royal Blues, we didn't find Jack Squat. Well, crud. Unity through throng, throngs? Thongs? Songs. Unity through thongs. Man, that's... Mm. Hail to the king. Well, we'll see what happens with him. Is there anything with, like... Wait, hold on. Let me pause it real quick. Super Old Rivals. Or Troll. Route 95. Well, they didn't go down that way. What's the other one? Yeah. Or... Yep. Okay. So we'll pretty much leave each other alone until I backstab them. But, yeah, they kind of backstabbed us. Actually, Super Support Equipment. Yeah, we're going to need some anti-tank. Like, let's just be real. We're going to need some anti-tank here. We already have Outsider Battalions, which is really nice. Mutant Instinct. We could change that, but I'm not going to. Add Major Businesses. Uh, what do we want? It's not bad, but I kind of like docks. Let's go get some docks. Make some more sport equipment. You need less factories to put on there. Not bad. All right. Overrunning the swamps. The Marlux hid in their swamps for decades, never desiring to leave them or expand them. Brave and powerful warriors, armored in those hides and shells of the mutant creatures they worship so closely. They could have been great warriors, conquerors, but now, now they're nothing. And their swamp is ours. This is our swamp now. Uh, with tank equipment? Technically, behemoths are tanks, so... Not bad. Yep, see? They're tanks. Can I upgrade these? Can I put... I want to throw more armor on my little tanky boys here. Wow, I've got plenty of infantry equipment. But here, they're not looking bad. Uh, now, so there was another comment from uh, from uh, yesterday's video saying that I should edit this to make sure that we have enough organization, enough stats. I might throw on some regular super mutants so that it'll be okay, you know, with... Actually, it doesn't look too bad. If, uh, but super mutants... Because it lowers their armor. I do not want to lower that armor at all. And that gives you almost no more organization. It's not really worth it. And actually slows you down some, huh? Yeah. Behemoths by themselves, not bad. 
We just need more regular mutants. So I'm going to go ahead and just like... Whee! Wow. Okay, maybe not that much we. Just because we're running out of manpower. Do we, we do get free cores basically on this territory, but, you know, whatever. Uh, we'll be done in about six, seven days. I guess we can wait. And we'll probably do plant cultivation. That's pretty good to do. I was just disappointed that, as someone did say, someone did say in the last video, the update whenever the Troll Warren, I think even New Canaan got the you know update to their focus screen such, they lost technology for the Troll Warren here, which really, really sucks. But it doesn't make sense why Super Mutants would be able to use planes for the most part. Especially airships, that wouldn't make any sense. But cracking the cultists. For many decades, we've used bones in our weapons, be they as simple decorations or in case of our more unproven warriors, cheap and affordable weapons. Now we've wiped out these cultists, we have bones in plenty, and our young warriors make glorious replicas of greater weapons with them. Of course, all states, and we get more manpower. Oh, do we get manpower over by over... Ah, we get more manpower over roaming the swamps. Which would be a nice thing. So, actually, now... You know what? It's a, it's a royal by themselves. Maybe we should do some stuff to them so that uh, they can't join anybody else. Wow, that's a long time to go to war with them. They get a lot of max treasure loyalty. Wow. Wowzers. And more defense. That's not good. Construction. Wow, Vice City. Jesus. That is... That is not bad. That is not bad stats. Or national spirits. Whatever you want to call them. Doesn't matter to me. Uh, let's see. Specialized doctrine. Let's keep going down this way. I forgot about this. So, do we want our mutants and behemoths to be harder? Or do we want to get more organization? I'm already pulling in organization. Organization is super important when you only have like 40, less than 40. And these guys aren't hard. Now, that's very weird for me to say, but they're not hard at all. So, I don't know why that's... Is, is there a reason why these guys are here? For I mean, super mutants have aren't hard. But these guys? I guess technically, yes. These guys do have hardness. Uh, but that organization, though, hardness is not bad. I mean, yeah, infantry doesn't have most infantry divisions don't have a high hard attack, which determines how much soft attack and HP you lose and such and stuff like that. But that's only five percent more. It's only five percent. So you really get five percent of fifty is usually two point five. You get two point five percent more hardness if I'm doing my math correctly, or you get three more organization for behemoths and five more organization for mutants. I think I've got to go with early tactical lessons. Yeah, I always choose this side, but just 2.5% more hardness, that doesn't make any sense to do. That, at least in my opinion. It's like, maybe I'll do that way, you know, just because you can someday. But for now, I mean, just, that doesn't make any sense. Overrunning the swamps and then cracking some cultists. Nice. Now we should get some free get quite a bit more core territory manpower now just because that's uh Marlurk tribes i guess they didn't have that that much up here huh i guess they really didn't but these guys give us at least a little bit more oh no nah, i don't really care about ships make one and then make that there you go hmm i don't really want to abandon our line with them because that could really leave us open to attacks but whatever. Yeah, there you go. And do we have an upgrade for you? Yes. Savage Leader, which is good. Um, let's see. You're only using technically. Uh, behemoths are not considered infantry. Max planning would not, might not be bad. The division recovery eight would not be bad either. I'd like three percent more attack. And they're not infantry, so let's go with melee hacker. That, that makes sense, right? That only makes sense. Supplies actually might not be very good around here. Then again, we do have a lot of resistance. So, yeah. That is level, only level 2. And we do have some resistance still, like I said. So, Up next, let's go ahead and grab some <laughs> Victoria Flyers. It makes no sense to get, but I'm going to grab them anyways because you can. Anti-tank would be very nice. Focus Fire is very good. Got to start making some of this good stuff too. So, there you go. Actually, go to one, and then we'll do something like this. There you go. Just because... Actually, we might get some field hospitals then. Why not? I mean, manpower might be an issue eventually, so... Why not? Seriously, why not? Maybe logistics, too? Uh, let's see. Supply use? 0.6. Not bad. Militia uses 0.16. And you guys use 0.75. Uh, actually, how many rider pieces? 340. Huh. There, we can use this, probably. And he's right there. There you go. That should be enough. 
71, not bad. Slays slightly on that stuff, but that's alright. Kraken Cultists will be next, done soon. And then what can we do after that? Smash the station, the Bountiful Coast. We could use some water? Actually, we're okay for now. Smash the station. Technically, it should auto-bypass because we did accept the non-aggression pact earlier, but... Technically, they did end the non-aggression pact with us, so... Germs and Acolytes might not be too bad to uh, do this if it doesn't auto-bypass. It's not going to auto-bypass. Alright. Alright, I'll, I'll go along with it. Hey, and there we go. A little bit more manpower. Yeah, it's going to be very useful. I think next thing we'll spend political power on is a roaming army. Because we get more 4% more groupable population. We get, basically, plus 30% research speed. We get plus 20% division speed. We lose 20% stability. So, you know, it's not bad. But yeah, not bad. Not bad overall. Pretty nice. And it looks like we just got a few more divisions to add to our line. Fifteen. Oh, what are we building? Roads? Roads are nice. Oh, yeah. It's really nice when you build up nice roads. <laughs> roads would be nice to have. Then again, roads without potholes would also be very nice, too. But you know what? Whatever. <laughs> Feeding grounds. Yeah, we'll build those up eventually. We don't really need too much of this stuff, actually. Well, I guess it's time for that that time again. Uh, we're not Death Claws. That's okay. Uh, I don't really care for this. Do, do Super Mutants drink Nuka Cola? We're not nuclear. I'm not really sure which would be good here. I guess I'll choose that one. But if you think the Cabal is a good enough name, let me know in the comments below. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. I'll be interested in hearing what you your thoughts are, so let me know. And it's a good thing I did that finally, because I don't remember the last time any I even did infantry stuff. But the guys looking pretty good. Maybe not perfect, maybe not great, but they're looking pretty good. Ooh, Frank, bulletproof. Uh, awareness is not bad. I don't think we have any recon, so actually, recon might not be bad. Land night attack, because it's usually pretty good to do. And what else? Ooh, there we go. And we just lost some stability. 20%. That's alright. 1.59. Not bad. And we're mobilizing even more, 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 more. Could be worse. And we have 47 caps. We only make 8. Man, where is the next trade node? Jesus Christ. We gotta get to New Reno, probably. No, no, it is a royal. A royal actually has a trade node. I should have realized that before. So taking out a royal will actually help us out. Mm. Putting these on super mutant divisions might not be bad. But I, I wanted this first. I did say I want this first, so. Decimate the dancers. Oh, dance, please. Oh, the old road. There are innumerable roads and ruined pathways within our growing nation. The rebuilding of these railways, by byways, and simple trails will allow for the armies of the Troll War to move with far greater efficiency and return home with the spoils of war just as quickly. Oh, do we need more infantry? Oh, we don't. Okay, that's good. Well, we can go to war with them for now. How long would this take? I mean, that would technically be breaking our agreement with them. But they did break the agreement with us. They want to go to the war with Kimmel Station. Hmm. I, I don't know. What, well, yeah, it's good to learn, right? It's always good to learn, like I've said in a previous video, right? So, if we break our dinghy with them, would they hate us? Yes, but they broke the, the non-aggression pact first. So, technically, I'm okay here, right? Through the law of mocha loverism, this, this checks out. The math checks out, so... Club Fast Shot River. A gentlemanly. I love a gentlemanly super mutant. Early tactical lessons. Light infantry doctrine. You get speed. Or we get harder. It's only 2.5%, man. I can't go that way. 2.5% is just not worth it. Just not worth it. Because it, it's wasted on the super mutants unless there's an upgrade. Is there, there might be an upgrade for super mutants, maybe, but... I don't think there's... Oh, there's a max in chapter. Because bye-bye. And quadrant searching. Well, it's time to learn. Maybe we'll have some bad things here. Oh, wait. Leftovers of the Raiders. What's that? Oh, they're getting... Oh. The Blood Cult, huh? Not bad. Well, actually, these guys suffer from a definite lack of manpower, so... Yeah, alright. 
I know this is treacherous of me. I know I'm breaking my dinghy. But the law of mocha loverism says it, it's okay. It's okay. I'm going to circle these soldiers, and then we'll just do a general attack. Forgers? Alright, cool. I assume he plays Diana again sometime. Diana was fun. It's kind of crazy. It's really detailed. Really quite detailed, which I enjoy. Uh, okay, so then smash the station. Might as well. Alright. Well, let's go ahead, everyone. Let's have a good time. You, me, and a good time. Well, who, do, who doesn't want to have a good time? Alright, we should do relatively okay here. Uh, I'll give you guys a force attack, because... Well, hopefully you're increasing your skill attack. Glory Falls. Yeah, whatever. Supply uh, skill 3 is actually pretty good for this, because these guys are going to use a, quite a bit of supply, right? Eh, six point, point six four is not bad. Point six four. Ooh, an operative. Well, Melancor the Cowboy. Cowboy it up. Cowboy it up. Man, what are we going to do, do here? Oh, we'll grab Canuo. Bale's Battleships. You know, I never choose this one, and I hate it, just because of the armor, heavy attack, max range. This is so bad, I'm still going to choose it, though. Because I'm choose trying to choose things that I no don't normally choose. Somewhat. Somewhat. Then again, if I keep doing that, eventually, the choices I don't make will become the choices I eventually do make too much. So, it is what it is, you know. We've lost about... Well, God, this is glitched. Well, how much have we lost? 200 guys? Super mutants? Deuterinos? Rose Haven. Ah, oh, yes. My God, I wish I could see what they, what's going on. Sla sl that is a hammer. That is not slashing melee weaponry. It's a little bit ahead of time. Let's grab some of this military training because we can. Yeah, uh, I don't think this is slashing. I I could be wrong. Maybe you can you know slash with a hammer, but most hammers you know I've seen, I don't think they can slash. Now, I guess if you sharpen the handle, maybe, but still. Go on in, guys. Don't worry about it. Where they're going? Well, I'd like to put them in camps. But, well, uh, well. I love putting the people in camps. Don't quote me on that, please. Uh, but they, these things have their uses. Yeah, sure, why not? How much support equipment do we even have? Like, 3,100 3, pieces? Oh, yes, I made so many. And once we get a royal, oh, we, we'll be okay. We'll be okay for quite a while. Awareness. Sniper, sniper. You know what? I'm going to go through for recon probably eventually, but let's, let's do Life Giver. I think that'd be worth worthwhile. Super the Warrior. Imagine if your name was Super. That'd be super cool. But then you get made fun of a lot at school, probably. Just saying. Guys, I'm giving up without a fight. We definitely need some more explosives to do more uh, damage, so... Economic research. Oh, wait. Trade? We have a trade? No. Wait, hold on. Um. A royal. Oh, Crow's Haven 2. Oh! Man, I'm like. I play Old World Blues all the time, and I'm now just discovering there's a trade note in Crow's Haven, and there's one in a royal. I mean, I. Okay. My bad. I mean, what's wrong with me? I don't know. Dancing on the bones. The bone dancers were infamous for the little post-battle feast during which they would pile high the bones of those they consume into a vast, fleshy, massive goal. The bravest warriors would dance atop these bones until growing too tired to move. To be the last man moving was a great honor among the people. It is only fitting that we treat their dead with the same ritualistic celebrations they gave so many others. Yes. Yes. We are... Culturally literate here in the lands of the Troll War. Wow, we're looking kind of thick. I like it. Now, so I think someone recommended that we might be able to go to war with the these guys up here, the 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 evil Washington Brotherhood. Early on, I mean, we could, but I'm like, man, nah, let's wait. Let's wait. You know, let them get nice and super strong, super strong, super strong, and strong. But you know, I, I, I I'm recording this at night. I usually record videos in the afternoon to night times, but man, I guess my mind is just starting to slip now. So. And that's okay. Say that with a smile on my face. Uh, oh man, we can't pierce some boys. Ooh, that sounds really bad. Pier hmm, never mind. Never mind. I'm getting weird. Um, let's see. In a few days, we'll have the anti tank done, and that that's gonna be that'll just set us up for the the Washington Brotherhood. Jolly good. Behemoths. We got plenty of behemoths. Troll wars not bad. The biggest problem with them is that they can't get planes. 
That's my tried and true bread and brother. You know, if, if you follow my channel at all, you know, you know, absolutely, that I love... Oh, look at this! Wood monsters. But I love close air support too much that some people are really tired of me using it all the time in World War Blues. I only use them over uh, Tactical Bombers or this game's version of Tactical Bombers or the mods version just because they don't work. They literally don't work. Or I shouldn't say that. You can't attach them to infantry or just your armies like normal, like normal cast. You literally can't attach Tactical Bombers to do the job or to armies, which really, really sucks. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not even going to bother with it. So Now, actually, airships. You can do the same thing with airships, I think. So you can you can attach them to your armies if, if this is still still like this. It's probably still like this. But yeah, the reason I don't ever use airships is because they cost way too much and they're ineffective for the most part. Look at that. Ten. Oh, I love it. Entice Vancouver Mavens. Well, we could, but that'd be a waste of money. Uh, let's do that. And maximize our stability. Uh, I'll go do that. That's fine. Iron Ruth is drastic measures. I never do drastic measures. You know what? That's, that's something I'd like to see. I would like to see the devs. I mean, I, I don't talk to the devs at all. They, they, they probably know of me, but they don't talk to me at all. At the time of this recording, of course. But I'd like to see something reforms for, like, Ruthless Drills. I don't know. Cause just, just because I never use this. Like, the penalties for weekly stability and weekly war support, that's too severe for me to use. Like, does anyone use that? Do you guys use that? Let me know in the comments below. Like, seriously, like, do you ever use stuff like drastic measures for ruthless drills? I mean, yeah, we can always get more stability back, but it just doesn't seem worth it ever to use it. A worthy foe. Oh, General Shatterhand. Taking their homes. I love taking their homes, actually. Oh, we need to go to Gorth Kimmel Station next. But a worthy foe. Wolf Chief Shatterhand fought us until his last and outmaneuvered us on several occasions. He, above all others among his people, is worthy of the gift of mutation. He shall make a fine addition to our um, army and military, assuming he does survive. Well, boys and girls, it's time to go ahead and... Uh, are these guys okay? Oh, they have anti-tank. Well, how many divisions do they have? Establish a laboratory. A thousand manpower. Oh, well... Give her guys like five seconds. Oh, that's enough time to get some more organization back. Um, I don't want to say we can win immediately because we probably can't. But all right, yeah. The, oh, they threw on some more guys. Okay, that makes more sense. They actually have probably divisions stowed away somewhere else. So. Oh yeah, you guys go right on ahead. Yeah, just don't worry about it. We're losing some guys here. That's fine. We're trying to take Arroyo already, which is you know pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, we have a royal. Trial of the temples. I wanted to encircle these guys over here. I thought this would be a lot more drawn out. Okay, we can cut them off here. That'd be great. Okay, we cut... Okay. Capture Lasso's bunker. Hopefully, the NCR doesn't mind us taking out a royal. Then again, they're a little busy themselves. Not bad. I mean... A lot better than what I thought. Okay, then. Invest stimulus. I... Didn't expect us to take out two trade notes in this episode. But here we are. Alright, let's do that. Why not? Let's get a little harder. Nice. It's harder for our infantry armor. Which, at this point, we might just be able to just do this. Uh, okay, then. Troll Warren can be pretty darn fun. You can go ahead and have a non-aggression pact with the folks over in... Uh, the Bone Dancer Nation. And then when they break it, it's okay to uh, attack them. There's no penalty. I'm glad I did that. Cunning Leader. Ooh, let's, uh, let's get more max planning. Planning speed, I'm not too worried about it at all. And that's for Betty. She already has a bonus to planning speed. Look at that. Skill 9. Jesus Christ, that's so good. Oh. I'm I'm starting to really enjoy this. Uh, we already get recon anyways. Uh, reinforce rate's good. It's just... 20% mm, is not bad, but reinforce rate... It doesn't help you in the middle of battle. Recon does, though. It can. The ability to scout ahead and anticipate the enemy increases the chance that this unit can pick better tactics and battle increases the amount of intel gathering from that combat. 20% 20 20 more reinforce rate is great and all. Just, like I said, in the middle of battle, it doesn't help you. I guess technically, if you... Well, does it help you in reinforce rate? Hold on. Let me double check. I could be completely wrong about that. Don't quote me on anything about this because even though I play this a whole lot, it doesn't mean I understand everything. Yeah. Okay, so chance per hour that units in reserve are able to actively join the fight. Yes, okay, te technically it does help, but 20% reinforce rate. Ah, recon, so. 
So yeah, don't, seriously, don't quote me on too much. I know how to play. It doesn't mean I know how the game mechanics work that well. Just like me and Victoria, too. I know how to play. Well, my idea of how the dynamics work. Well, I don't know about that. Great. Uh, propaganda sometimes is worth doing. Encourage weapons productions. Um, uh, that's okay. It's not great. I never choose it though. I never use it. Looking a little better on that cap system. We got, okay. We cut all these guys off. They're they might be doing the last stand actually. Are they doing last stand? Are they seriously doing last stand? They must be doing the last. Oh, never mind. Doesn't matter. Klamath, are you in the NCR? No. Okay then. I don't know if we have war goal against them like later on in the focus tree or not, but okay. A worthy foe. Taking their homes. The human trading comp community at Kemalt Station has proven itself remarkably resilient in the last few decades, repelling our attacks on numerous occasions. The first is to clear that we finally take them seriously as a threat and bring the brunt of our might down upon them. With steel and bone, they shall be humbled. Not bad. Not bad. 82% stability. You know what, at this point... Oh, we can't go up here. We need to own the Kub and more than 30 controlled states. We lose 10% more uh, stability, but we get 5% more research speed, 5% more uh, division speed, and was it 8% more recruitable population? Holy smokerinos. No one is desirable. Slave... Oh, I want slave conscripts. I love homicidal conscripts. Raider conscripts sounds like so much fun. Scam just found Lockheed schematics. Wow. Dinamite, though. Now, I'll leave this up to you guys. Would we use as super mutants frag grenades or flamers? Do we barbecue our enemies? We can eat them later, maybe. Or do you just blow them up into little bits? Let me know in the comments below, because I'm open to both. I kind of like both. I kind of want some barbecue now, though. Hmm. Some ribs. Hmm. I'm, I'm making myself hungry in this episode. And there goes the Legion. Good job, Legion. Yeah. Hmm. This has been a lot more fun. This is a, an episode that I thought was not going to be, like, super fun. But it turned out to be a lot of fun for me. And we are just taking enemies. We started off with the Marlurks. Basically, they already took out the Apostles. So we got that land for free. Um, I don't know. It just... This is a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. I mean, all my videos are fun, right? But this one, I don't know. I'm enjoying it a lot more since we took out the Bone Dancers. We got Crow's Haven. We got a Trade Node. We got a Royal with a Trade Node. We just took out Camel Station. I'm trying to take out Klamath. It's a lot of fun. And Lock Reed. Where are you? Oh. Of all the pre-war designs to get unlocked, we got the one that tells us we get bonuses to our air equipment. Thank you, game. Thank you. But, we'll be taking their homes. Overrun the armory. Oh, that's not bad. The old guns. Use the supplies we've moved into Kemalt Station to help rebuild the artillery. Any leftover artillery can be moved to our capital. For every own state we we own with a Kemalt Station core, there's also at least five infrastructure. Build an anti-air. The first ambitions. Kind of want to do this. The first ambitions. And then we'll maybe call an episode after that. Now that we've conquered most of Oregon, we can look to fulfilling our ambitions. Where do the first desires lay? Oh, wait. Well, we did a focus down here. Instead of push. Oh, whoops. Oh, we get... Oh. Well, I did that a little bit too early. But that's more than fine. We get the core on it anyways later on. But regardless, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, consider leaving a little uh, smash that like button. Why not? Subscribe if you're new. If I, if I said that not already. Check out my Discord link. If you haven't already, I'll see you tomorrow when we will take out Klamath. And maybe a couple, a few more other people. Hello, Enclave. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.